She's gonna eat my cat. Oh my goodness. Go eat your hay now. She's probably tired of me walking over to her, but um, yeah. Hello, cutie. Welcome back. I'm back in the same old coat, going down to go and do the horses. And I have not vlogged in about three weeks or a month. Um, and that is going to be because I, one, I have not been able to ride or go anywhere because obviously we're in lockdown. Um, and I can't ride out in the fields because they are disgusting and trashed because Carly likes to trash fields and I've literally only pretty much been hacking around so this is I'm just gonna like hello Jamie how you doing hello right I'm giving you like an update maybe I'll vlog me riding later We'll see if I decide I want to do that or not. Um, but I'm just going to give you like an update on everything, why I haven't been vlogging so much. Um, no. As well as the fact that I haven't been riding and there hasn't been that much to film. Um, the yeah. reason why... I have not been filming recently is as I said in my last video um, I had to wait to tell you some news about Carly um, yeah sorry I've got hey for the horses um, yeah so I had to wait to make sure that it was definitely going ahead and now I'm very much certain that this is now a thing um, due to a lot but I'm going to talk about that in a little bit as you already may know Carly was up for sale and I did make a decision to sell her uh, back in October I think which is actually a year after I bought her I made the decision to sell her um and she we had loads of people ring up um we had a couple of people come see her and there was only about one person one or two people that actually came to see her that we thought were right for her um i'm not gonna disclose too much about the people or anything like that obviously because it's for their safety and their privacy um but it just kind of with one of the people it just kind of didn't quite work out um and they came back a second time to see her but due to like places to keep her and things like that because they were in college it just kind of just didn't work out um and then in december i think um just before lockdown not in december i don't know at some point like at the end of november and in december there was this other person that came to see her that person came back twice to come and see her Carly, you've got to decide what piece of hay you want, what pile you want to go to, okay? Come here then. Ugh. Um, she came back a second time and had a vetting um, for Carly. And if you didn't know um, about Carly's feet, she stands on like her toe on one of her in one of her feet um, yeah. Bye. Bye -bye. um yeah so 
when they went to go, she passed pretty much everything. Um, yeah, but when they went to go and trot her, or lunge her on a hard surface, um, the only space to do that was out the front of our house. We have like a driveway, but due to like cars being there and also where our neighbours are, when they did it, um, due to like cars, we couldn't use our whole entire driveway. So, um, what happened is, um, uh, they had to go lunge her on the driveway, down a pavement, then onto the road, and then back round again. Um, but the only issue with that is the pavement sloped down from our driveway, and the road fell away at both sides of it. Um, and it was just very uneven and kind of unfair to lunge a horse like that and test it and um, on such even uneven surfaces. Um, yeah, it was just very unfair and it would have been a test for any horse. And then the vet came back and said, your horse is lame, but she's doing a good job of covering it up. Um, and I don't know where it's coming from, but she is very slightly lame. Um, so, I wasn't too sure about that because I've never really seen a horse try and cover up lameness um, and things like that. But we trusted the vet, so obviously the person didn't go and get her. Then we went to go and speak to the head of the vet of um, the vet that the person was from or our vet, um, rather, and he said, find a farmyard or a car park or somewhere where the, a car, empty car park where there's not going to be any cars, um, find a place where you can lunge her on a flat surface and then if she's sound, it was just a faulty vetting because she was on uneven surfaces and she does stand on her toes a little bit on her front legs. And a week later, we there's literally a doctor surgery down the road from us. And it was a Sunday, so they weren't open and the car park was completely empty. So we took her, hacked her down there, lunged on it. And of course, the little child was completely fine. Um, so it wasn't the vet's fault. It wasn't, it wasn't anyone's fault to be fair, it was just purely because she was lunged on an uneven surface and it would have been a test for any horse. The reason why in my last video I said I had to wait for things to be cleared up is purely because I don't remember whether that was before or after the vetting. Carly. Go eat your hay now probably tired of me walking over to her but um yeah hello cutie um yeah sorry I got a bit carried away um yeah it was just waiting on I'm not too sure whether it was before or after the vetting but it was if it was before then it was waiting for the vetting for everything to be cleared up and if it was afterwards then it was the waiting on the time to call the head vet and just have a chat and see what to do from there.